Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In the last video, I essentially demoed the power of search with semantic search and elastic search. Search is perhaps the most important thing and search is literally everywhere, right from hotels, restaurants, jobs, you name it, search is there. Everything, anywhere you need search. You need to search products, you need to search hotels, you need to search trips, everywhere search is important. With, the, with that, ranking is also equally important. Let me show you a nice demo um, about this and hopefully this made sense. So again, this is the demo, right? Uh, if, if I search, I get all the results. So if you observe something carefully, Python developer, look at the date, 2005, and senior Python developer, 2022. What if I wanna boost uh, I want to rank, I want to do my semantic search, but I also want to rank the document. Uh, I want to do a date based relevancy, right? So maybe I want to add more weights to the date. So which means this record should come on the top. Let me show you a demo. Uh, let me show you actually um, uh, the, the, the output. And then maybe if you're interested, you can check the code. So the same result, again, the same semantic search query, we're going to refresh the screen. All right, and let's click go. Observe, look at this. Automatically, the newer dates are coming up on the top. So we essentially add more weights. So as I see, right, search is, as, as I keep saying, search is one of the most important. And so is the ranking. How are you ranking? Are you ranking based on clicks, based on views, based on date, based on keywords? Ranking the records and showing the relevant result on the top is also equally important. So let me show you how a date-based ranking is done in uh, Elasticsearch. So I'll come here. So over here. So if you observe, uh, not this one here, this is the code that I wrote. Again, I'll, I'll leave the code in the description. So observe how I'm doing this. So I'll try to zoom in. Hopefully you guys can see, right? I declared a, a score here, a double variable called total. I defined the weights for the date. Here, essentially, I'm computing the log operator on the date. I'm taking the value of the date, adding to the total, and then I'm adding the weight, weights essentially to it. Of course, I can add, I can multiply, depending upon your use case. So basically, I'm giving more relevance to the weights. And of course, then I'm doing my cosine similarity, and then further adding the weights, and at the end, I'm returning uh, the total score. So what does that mean is basically, uh, if I if I can, come if I can uh, quickly close my magnifier so what I'm trying to say is you can now also rank documents based on certain criteria maybe you want to rank uh, more um, you know if there are a lot of words you want to penalize maybe right uh, maybe that's just a padded uh, you know uh, item again depends all upon your use case here I'm showing you a very simple case you can use a Gaussian operator or, or an exponential uh, function to essentially compute the value on the date. But simply by tweaking this, now you can see more relevant, more recent uh, result are coming up on the top. And as you can see this, look at here the score, uh, it is 30 because we essentially added uh, weights here, right? So again, you can change and tweak these weights, right? And depending upon your formula, you can rank the appropriate document up. So what you see is an amazing demo, right? Just by adding date uh, ranking, it totally changes the, uh, essentially the search, right? Initially we were seeing, uh, of course, semantic search is great. We are seeing semantic, but also now which one should come on the top, which one should go on the bottom. That's the whole game. Again, this is one aspect that I showed you, again, just based off date. Uh, so again, really very quick. So if I come here, if I show you the first query, and I'll refresh my screen. Again, the, the semantic search query is same. Again, you, you click go, Python developers, but the senior Python developer was suppressed and is at the bottom section, right? I wanna rank more recent up, right? So essentially, as I said, right? So if, if you observe the query that I wrote, um, I guess I'll do it here. Hopefully you guys can see now. So, I create a double variable, uh, I made a date um, weight, right? Then I'm essentially computing the millis on the date. I'm performing a math.log and then I'm adding the weight to that. 
then I'm also adding the weight for the semantic search and then at the end I'm returning the total weight. So with this now I'm ranking it right. So now this search result what you see here after adding this, this one. So basically I'll do query two just so you can see now observe the same query right. Click on go and there you see now the senior DevOps came up on the top and here you can see more relevant result. Again, it's uh, the, the, the ranking goes a lot, lot, lot in depth. Uh, you, there's a lot of ranking algorithms. We're going to explore a little bit uh, and I'll show you all these demo so you can see how these big companies are using ranking, scoring, you know, basically uh, computing the keywords and seeing uh, what is the frequency of that and basically adding that score as well. So all these stuff, right? It's pretty amazing actually to watch in action. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave the code snippets in the description. So check the uh, Elasticsearch query out. And if you have any more questions, list your questions and I'll uh, try to answer the questions uh, in the comments as and when I get time. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this demo and I'll see you guys in the next video.